Shalom and welcome to another week of Living Supernaturally. This week, we are going to be looking at a series of devotionals where we can find hope even during tough times. There are many kinds of trials that makes life tough. No matter where our tough times come from, there are hardships and there, are, there is trouble, something that we need to deal with. Through this week, uh, we find out how we can find hope even in the midst of a tough time. And we're going to be looking through this week uh, a specific scripture on 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 to 9. And as we go through the next few days, we're going to be looking at some encouraging truths that Peter brings about in his letter. So when we see this entire portion, we find that Peter is writing to believers who were going through a very difficult time. And this time was, in, was a large part because they were Christians, they were being persecuted. In this letter, Peter speaks a lot about persecution, that those who were following Christ were beginning to face that per persecution. Through this, and today our focus would be of how Peter focuses on the importance of believers bearing up under unjust suffering, yet continuing to live well. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 says, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. I'd like to highlight that Peter asks of a very strange request. He asks of a very strange response. And he says, when you are faced with tough times, when you are faced with trials, be truly glad. You know, this sounds strange since typically when we are going through a hard time, it is not an occasion of rejoicing or it is not an occasion of being glad. So this isn't suggesting that we pursue a trial or we pursue hardship or neither is it intending to say that we need to pretend when trials come our way. But what we see here is that yes, trials are difficult and painful, yet they have a purpose. Trials have the potential for good. So, and as a result, it is an opportunity to be truly glad, to express that joy. You know, when we know that there is a bigger picture we can consider these trials as something to rejoice in. Even though gladness is contrary to those normal reactions, Peter urges us to change our attitudes in the way that we look at troubles. So how do we find that joy? We find that joy through the, the Spirit, the joy that the, that the Spirit gives cannot be the same or is not the same as the way the world gives. So we may need to stop wallowing and whining and complaining and grab on to God's joy because it is a free and a perfect gift from Him. Our greatest example is Jesus because it says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy before him endured the cross. So, so as we may be going through trials right now, let's respond in joy, knowing that the Spirit gives us that abundant joy. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, even as we may be in the midst of a hardship and a trial, may we respond as Peter encouraged us to, to respond in gladness, knowing 
that you know the bigger picture and that you have a purpose for every trial we are going through. May we respond in the way that you desire of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.